If you grew up in the 90s, chances are you know how big a star Martin Lawrence was. His face was everywhere, stand-up, movies, and TV. That was until a series of events led him to a nervous breakdown, arrest, and eventually disappearing from Hollywood altogether. In this video, we'll take a look at Martin's quick rise in the industry, his legal and mental problems, and his eventual disappearance. All that and more coming up. This video in no way is meant to bash or disrespect Martin Lawrence. I simply want to share the story of his career and what happened. I still consider him one of the best comedians of the early 90s and enjoyed the majority of his films. Martin was a natural comedian from a young age. He was encouraged to start a career in stand-up comedy. He started with some open mic spots and began performing at the Improv. This led to an appearance on Star Search in 1987. He made it all the way to the finals, but unfortunately lost. This exposure, however, led Martin to a guest spot on the failed sitcom What's Happening Now. Martin landed a movie role in Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. Damn, man, you might well throw them shits out. Them shits, it's broke. Followed by House Party 1 and 2. Martin's momentum was quickly building and he was cast in Boomerang, starring alongside comedy legend Eddie Murphy. And the game's over when the white ball drives the black ball completely off the table. Now why is that? It's because of the white man's fear of the sexual potency of black Balls. Martin's experience in stand-up helped him land a gig as a host of Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam in 1992. The show featured up-and-coming young comedians along with experienced veterans. The show helped launch the careers of Chris Tucker, Dave Chappelle, Mike Epps, Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer, and many more. This is where we as black comedians come together and unite as one. Also in 1992, Martin starred in the self-titled sitcom Martin. Oh, y'all feel that? Just got real cold in here. Well, I'll tell you about wearing them holy drawers, boy. <laughs> This show was a massive success and ran until 1997. In a matter of a few years, Martin went from performing on Star Search to one of the most in-demand comedians of the era. His popularity peaked with the movie Bad Boys, co-starring Will Smith. This movie was a massive success and made a lot of money for the studio. Martin had a very strong work ethic. He was always working on something, but he pushed himself to the limits while shooting A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Martin was the writer, director, narrator, executive producer, and music supervisor. This was just too much for him to handle and eventually led to a breakdown. He was acting erratic and broke out in a violent rage. He was hospitalized at Cedars Sinai Medical Center to get his head straight. Less than a year later, Lawrence was arrested for running down Ventura Boulevard with a gun, shouting, they're trying to kill me. He was hospitalized a second time. Martin's agent claimed that the reason for the behavior was due to dehydration and exhaustion. The media, however, was quick to speculate that something else was the root cause. Two months later, he tried to bring a gun onto a plane, which led to his arrest. 
Things continued to go south for Martin in 1997 when his Martin co-star Tisha Campbell filed a lawsuit against him alleging sexual harassment and abuse. The suit was filed while still shooting season 5 of Martin. The two settled out of court and Campbell returned to shoot the final two episodes of the season. With the agreement, she would not appear in the same scenes as Martin. The show was promptly canceled after the season. The sudden cancellation of Fox's most popular sitcom of the time definitely hurt his career in the eyes of the industry. With all the drama going on, Martin took a break after shooting Nothing to Lose. Although he really did need to take this break, the decision was bad for his career. Martin made a return with the films Life and Blue Streak. Next up was one of his big return movies, Big Mama's House. While shooting Big Mama's House, Martin landed back in the hospital. This time, he slipped into a coma for three days. Again, this claim was from heat and exhaustion with a temperature of 107. This movie, however, was a box office success and really gave hope for a career resurgence. Martin's reputation in the industry, however, was in decline. He was acting increasingly erratic, violent, and unreliable. For the next 10 years, Martin was cast in several bad movies that didn't manage to make a profit at the box office. With the exception of sequels to Bad Boys in Big Mama's House, Martin Lawrence wasn't the big draw headliner he once was. The industry lost faith in Martin's ability and by 2011 he seemingly disappeared from Hollywood altogether. Martin attempted to make a return to TV in 2014 with the failed sitcom Partners, co-starring Kelsey Grammer. The series was cancelled after one season and Martin again disappeared from the industry. Martin did however continue to work. He went back to his roots in stand-up. He wasn't making the big money like he was before, but his stress levels have dropped. At the time of this video, Martin is in a position to make an epic comeback. He returned to reprise his role as Marcus in Bad Boys for Life. The movie was a massive success and rumors of a fourth installment are swirling around. I personally would love to see Martin make a comeback. So what do you think? Are you ready for Martin to make a big comeback? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this.